50s, just about everybody in the 50s from Tampa over into the Polk County area, all the way up to Hernando County, and then some kind of sneaking all the way back into the 60s so far. The warmer air is slowly rising from south to north, and, you know, yesterday we didn't get out of the 50s. It was just... It was one of those days, right? Uh, today will be different as we will have the cloud cover, but at least it will be mild getting back into probably the lower 70s for today. Look at Tallahassee, though. 33 degrees and 36 in Panama City. You have no idea how close we are going to come to a massive, massive cool off, okay? It's, we're going to get a little, a little taste of it, but we're not going to get the full brunt of it. Folks, it's 20 degrees in San Antonio right now 20 degrees little rock is at 13 even birmingham around freezing this morning so again the majority of that cold air does stay north we get a little taste of it i think for wednesday though so the clouds are going to roll back in today as a warm front moves through and that will make the atmosphere a bit unsettled so throughout the afternoon and evening hours we're going to start to pop up some scattered showers and storms and then eventually tomorrow this front will come through giving us another round of rain so for the first couple of days this week high rain chances 60 to 70 percent but it's not going to be like an all-day deal. So watch, a lot of cloud cover, uh, you know, moving in. Here's 11 o'clock this morning, beginning to see some showers uh, popping up to our south. And watch how they just kind of lift to the north throughout the afternoon and evening. Now, about 5 o'clock or so, many of you will be headed over to do the tailgating thing over at Ray J. Listen, you're going to run into some rain over there, okay? But I don't think this is going to be a complete washout. Going to have some scattered showers. We got, we, we got the ponchos ready just in case, right? And then after that, I think after the game starts, things just start to kind of taper off a little bit. And then just the clouds linger overnight. But into Tuesday, the showers come right back at us again. Tuesday afternoon in to Tuesday evening and that's it and then on Wednesday we clear it up but ooh, do we cool it off let me show you the temperature for Wednesday as highs will barely uh, be getting back into the 60s for some but we got 71 degrees for you today mild some scattered showers around later today now some showers around tonight it will be mild it'll be muggy maybe some fog to contend with overnight tonight. So let's, you know, be cognizant of that for after the game, okay? Then clouds continue with some scattered showers tomorrow and a high temperature of 72. Light chop on the coastal waters. I think the biggest problem you're going to have boating today is going to be the fact that you're going to have some scattered showers popping up later this afternoon and evening. So the next seven days, look, barely touching 60 degrees for a high on Wednesday. Then it warms right back up to 71 by Friday, and then another front comes through, and we we got, the, we got the parade, the children's parade on Saturday, and uh, highs will be in the mid-50s, but we'll get some sunshine.